Hey y'all, so if you saw my Instagram last week, you may have seen that I got a PR package from Glossier. I'm so incredibly excited. This is like the biggest PR package from the biggest brand, the most amount of products. Like this is the biggest thing I have ever gotten and I don't even know how to feel. Like I am so excited and feel so completely undeserving of this. Anyways, I have a lot to cover in this video. Please stick around to the end because I have something I need to kind of like discuss with y'all. As always, I need your input on how to live my life. Um, so yeah, definitely need your advice on something. So please stick around to the end for that. But I thought it would be fun maybe to go through these products and kind of unbox and also try on a few of these things. I know I've been saying for like weeks now that I want to try the cloud paints. I've heard really good reviews on them and I got one in the color that I have wanted so bad too, which is puff. I really want dusk as well. I think that's like their nude one. Out of all the products I've tried from Glossier so far, I will see if my opinion changes by the end of this video, but out of everything, the boy brow is the one I absolutely just adore. And I will continue to purchase this. I love this product. I went with the shade brown, by the way. I'd like to try it in clear as well. So today we're gonna to be testing out the Cloud Paint and Puff, the Halo Scope in Moonstone, it's the highlighter, the Generation G lipstick in Zip, and actually I already have this one on the cherrybalm.com. I'll get into it though. Um, and then the last product, which I can't, I mean, I guess I could go do a face washing demo, um, but they sent me their Milky Jelly Cleanser, which was one of their like most iconic products. I think this is one of the very first products they launched. I could be wrong about that, but I feel, I feel like that sounds right for some reason. Anyways, it's one of their very, very famous products regardless. I will say, first of all, I, I've already used this for like the two days it's taken me to get around to filming this video. I've been using it morning and night for the past two days. Really, really enjoy it. Milky Jelly is the perfect name for this product because it's not like a foaming face wash. It doesn't strip your skin. So if you have dry skin, you probably be into it. I don't and I still like it, but it is halfway between a more gel like consistency and that cream cleanser consistency that doesn't foam. So it literally is like a, a kind of milky, a kind of, I don't know, creamy formula, but does still have that gel texture. And they are, they're just married together. So I feel like it gets my skin really clean, but doesn't strip it. Like I've said, I've only used it for two days. Uh, so far I do really enjoy it though. I guess I will go ahead and talk about the other item that I have already used and is on my lips right now. It's the cherrybalm.com. Now the balm.com is one of their products that I've had on my wish list. I nearly bought it when I bought my first order um, and then I had just bought the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask and so I was like no I don't need it right now when I finish that I'll try this one out and uh, by the way I didn't choose any of these items Amalia picked all of them out for me and she did good because when I opened this, I was so excited because it's one of the products I've really wanted for a while now, but I saw it was the cherry flavor, flavored, scented, colored, everything. And that was probably the last one I would have chose. I would have gone for the original coconut or the mint one, like those two, more natural, clear. That's what, what I would have gone for first. But she like knows me better than I know myself and I really appreciate her kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone to try something else because I love this. Uh, first of all, when you look at it, you think like, holy cow, that's gonna be super bright red on my lips, like a tint or something. It's not, it's what I have on my lips right now. Just a very, very sheer pink. It blends out to just look like a very natural lip color. And this, no joke, is like the chic, fun, grown-up version of cherry chapstick. It is, like the smell of it is delicious. I guess let's go ahead and try on the cloud paint. So the cloud paints come in four different shades. Every single one of them looks absolutely gorgeous. And this is like the newest item to their line, to their website. What I will say is that I appreciate their philosophy of quality over quantity. That's something I want to adopt in my own life. Anyways, they, they don't have a massive website full of a ton of products. They have a select few makeup items and a select few skincare items. I appreciate that they would rather do less and do it really, really well, make sure the quality is there before they start expanding. I so, like I wish 
all brands would do that instead of just pumping out new collections new launches over and over and over again we see it all the time and then the quality diminishes be honest is my bun too big for my head it won't even fit in the frame I'm gonna go with the less is more technique here you can always add more but you can never take it away that is like the most natural looking flush to my cheeks now I am incredibly pink undertoned so you know they say like the blush color that your natural flush would be is what looks the most natural on your skin I think that's pretty close to what basically bright pink that's what I turn when I get hot and I have to say I freaking hated this thing for liquid foundation application but uh, that is beautiful all right I still have a little bit on the back of my hand let's move on to the other cheek I kind of fumbled on the one yard line with that one I have an acne spot right there that just popped up today and so I didn't I was trying to work around it so I didn't add any pinkness any redness to a spot I've been trying to cover up for like a friggin hour uh, but I kind of kind of messed up a little bit there I really want all the other colors now so that was puff and I guess let's go ahead and move on to the highlighter the halo scope while I have you pulled in here so this is a cream highlighter product in a stick. I know they have multiple colors in this one because I've seen Serene Wu work with quartz, I believe, or rose quartz, one of the two. And the cool thing, at least what I thought was really cool, this one's in Moonstone, by the way. It has actual Moonstone in it. The quartz one has actual quartz in it. Like it has these, are they minerals? stones geodes I don't know I'm not a geologist anyways they have these pretty rocks in there that add to the shine um, if you can see it has like a little moisturizing core in the center and then the shimmer on the outside this is very very emollient very moisturizing I have oily skin so I'm a little bit nervous about this one it definitely has a very balmy texture but what I thought in the very least this would be very pretty to lay on a base and then do a powder highlight on top and set it I figured this would really really pop a powder highlight and possibly make it last a little bit longer eh, it's a thought could be wrong but it's a theory I'm just trying to dab at it instead of like swiping and lifting my makeup look what this does to my lips when I put it on there are you seeing are you seeing this oh my god okay that's unexpected I was trying to put it on my cupid's bow and I saw it turning my just that lip balm the cherrybalm.com it's turning it like I don't know kind of a duochrome purple really pretty well I do want to try powder highlighter on top of it but I do like it just dabbed on again I'm not a pro at cream products um, because I have oily skin I've been very hesitant to like really dig into them and so I am gonna need a little bit of practice with this and we'll finish up with the lip product I hate to do it but I guess I'm gonna have to take this off this is one of their generation G lipsticks in the shade zip which is a red but it looks like a little bit more warm leaning orangey red they do have a few different options in this line my understanding is that they're called sheer matte lipsticks and um, it was only kind of remotely sheer it was not a super sheer color when I swatched it on my arm so who knows we'll see how it goes on the lips So that is zip applied lightly with just a dabbing motion like very I think you probably saw just like dabbing it onto my lips and okay I get the sheer matte name now that's exactly what it looks like it's a sheer matte finish um, I do want to go back over it like a traditional like kind of lay it on thicker to see what the coverage and color and everything looks like um, but I actually really like this finish too it's just very very nice my lips but better kind of shade it does not look like it would be you know this looks way more intense than it looks on the lips 
All right, and that is like two full layers. And to be honest with you, it still kind of has that sheer popsicle tint look about it. I actually really like it with the blue, like somehow that goes together. All right, y'all, so those are all the products I have tried now from Glossier. About my comment at the beginning of this video, does Boy Brow still like reign supreme? Is it still my favorite product that I've tried? I guess I should really give the new ones a little bit more time, but I'm leaning towards yes. That Boy Brow is so freaking good. There is a reason why it gets so much hype. I love it. But I will say this freaking cloud paint comes really, really close. I cannot wait to dig more into this. In fact, I, I think I am going to go order me Dusk. I really want that color too. And what I was also mentioning at the beginning of the video, what I wanted to kind of get y'all's perspective on here. So Glossier, I guess they found my video, their marketing team, they found my video where I was talking and hauling the initial four products that I had tried. And they have this rep program. And so when they found it, they sent me an email and invited me to be a part of this rep program. So basically, I guess the gist of all this is that I kind of really want to do it. I mean, I think it's just a cool opportunity at least to check out. But I was thinking I would ask them if I would be able to only get store credit, not actual money. It wouldn't be that much anyways. In fact, the store credit would probably come to more than I would get in cash, you know, especially if I can buy more of these. Anyway, so I was thinking about asking that and if that's possible, then doing it. So what's your thoughts on that? Because I've already had a, a link for store credit. Anyone who purchases, any random person who purchases on the Glossier website gets a link when you check out. It's just like a friend referral link. Obviously, they want you to share the products. You get $10 in store credit for each order, I believe. I think it's 20% off your first order for the person who uses it and then ten dollars in store credit for you or me or whatever for each order um, and someone has used my link I don't know who it was they don't tell me who it was so if you're watching thank you so so much I very much appreciate that again one step closer to one of these so I was thinking if I could do that option then I would go forward and do this but I wanted to run it by y'all first because for one I mean it's like a Y'all watch so much YouTube, you know, just like I do, but I'm only one person and I really appreciate the advice that everyone else can give me on this. I've never had like a YouTube career or whatever this is. I've never had these opportunities presented to me before, so I'm going in this just as blind as anyone else would be. This shouldn't be weird, right? It's not weird for me to ask you these things. I don't have a lot of friends in real life, okay? If you if you must know, so who the hell am I supposed to ask? All right, so I think that is everything I had on my mind, at least at the moment. If I think of anything else, I will leave it in the comments or the description box, and yeah, let me know your thoughts on it all. I love y'all very much. Thank you so much for watching and just hanging out, applying makeup with me today. I will see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget. It is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all. Bye.